How's it going, everybody? Welcome in to the Haunt Crew, and today we have a special guest, uh, the one and only Tony Buck. How's it going, sir? What's up? What's up, guys? Happy to be here. Yeah, Tony Buck from FX Studios, uh, creator and owner, if I'm not mistaken. That's it. That's me. I'm the yeah. one and only Tony Buck FX. Me and my there cats. You go. That's it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, so you're you're in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I was uh, been following you for a pretty good bit and everything, and uh, you're the yeah. the guy when it comes to FX and and everything else. So can you tell us a little bit how you started? Uh, and tell everybody that's out there listening, you know, uh, yeah, how you do it. Well, I it, I got started, like, believe it or not, I used to be an insurance agent. And so, but, like, I always <laughs> dream, okay, ever since I saw the movie E.T., like, back in the day, I don't remember, I may have been, like, seven, eight years old, but I remember watching E.T. with my dad, and I was like, I, we watched, it like, a behind-the-scenes hbo documentary whatever like the the special effect guys that went in there and they were doing the puppeteering and animatronics and all this other stuff and they were just like you know making the et and all that and i thought man that's what i want to do when i grow up i want to be a special effects guy but you know nobody really hardly ever chases their dream like you know like you should i should say so i yeah. just went the other way and started where I used to be a car salesman. And then I was like, I worked with my, my dad for a long time selling knives. They're, my family's buck knives. So they, you know, I've been selling knives ever since I was born. So that's what I mainly did. And then I was an insurance agent. Well, make a long story short. Uh, a few years ago, I was like, you know, I told my wife, I was like, I'm not getting any younger. Like I at least want to try this special effects thing <laughs> and, yeah. and just see, you know, I mean, you never know until you try. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I just quit my job. She she wasn't happy about that, but I quit my insurance job and just delved right in and started making monsters. And I ain't looked back since, man. I love it. And it's it's like a a childhood dream come true finally for me, living that dream, you know? Right, yeah. I, videos I used to watch, uh, whether if they're live on Facebook or, or whatever, uh, you know, just your your work is unbelievable, man, and I and I really do appreciate you being in the horror industry or the haunt industry, should I say? And uh, yeah, I appreciate. You, you got, it. Seems like you got some very special talents for sure. Uh, uh, now, well, I appreciate while, that. Yeah, no problem. Uh, and so looking behind you, uh, it looks like you have a uh, a prop there behind you or so. Now, did you do, build that? Yeah, or is that just I something got. For... Yeah, I built it. It's uh. Well, it's backwards. Let me go the right that way. It's a uh, twisty, so I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I keep going the wrong way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. But so I, I got the mask. Actually, a. Uh, I don't like to promote them, but it's a trick or treat studios mask. But like, mm -hmm. it's what I did is I overhauled it, you know. So I stripped it, repainted it, rehaired it, did everything. Then I, you know, weathered up the outfit and did all that. I didn't actually make the mask, but I just overhauled it because I just I, I really like Twisty. Twisty is one of the actually Twisty is one of the first masks I ever made. In fact, it was the first mask I ever made. The little smile mask. And mm. man, I, you know, I look back now and it's like, God, that was terrible. It looks like I sculpted it with my feet. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but you know, I mean, it was my very first sculpt. I had a buddy of mine. I was like, whenever I first wanted to get into this, I watched some YouTube videos. And I remember watching, I watched Alan Hobbs. You know, he was, I was just always watching his videos. And then I thought, well, I want to make like a prosthetic where it looks like you cut yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. So I watch I watch videos on that and then learned how to you know I've never sculpted anything in my life until six years ago and uh, got some clay made a little cut and then my buddy was like dude can you make me a twisty the smile the twisty the clown mask and I was like who's twisty like I never even saw it before he showed mm -hmm. me and so I made it and he ended up winning a uh, costume contest at a casino. 
with that mask. And he was like, here, man. He handed me like 40 bucks. I can't remember how much, maybe. Yeah. But I remember, and I was like, oh, my God. I just made money at like something I really love to do. Like I was having a good time making it, you know. Right, but, yeah. That's, so That's a pretty so cool always, story, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've always, Twisty started it all. So I was like, you know. I, I, I wanted to get a twisty and put him in my living room. So that's why I, I got him and then I got his cousin over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the big mm-hmm. the, the big jack in the box. So right, I, I yeah. didn't make anything. I didn't make nothing <laughs> on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the, you wanted us to share, or I asked you if you wanted us to share, you know, any photos of your work and everything. Because I, no, I really do yeah. appreciate your work and whatnot. And uh, there's some of it right here. Uh, now, what were you doing in this photo? Uh, that was actually at the the Hot Springs International Horror Film Festival. That's a mouthful. But it's uh, I did a seminar on mask making at this festival. Um, it was me and... Uh, uh, and I feel bad about this. I can't remember the guy's name. But he does the soundtracks for, like, Star Wars... Uh, he does all the music for all these these you know horror movies and Star Wars and Star Trek and stuff like that. And so me and him did a seminar, uh, and mom was mask making, and he did the whole putting music behind the film seminar mm. part. But uh, it was pretty fun. I mean, I had a bunch of kids in there. That's you know, it's it's really a lot of fun to like see kids and they're you know they're like, oh my gosh, man, this is awesome. I want to do this like, and I look at them and I'm thinking like, that was me. When I was eight, I was like that little kid right there saying, man, yeah. I want to do that. So that, that to me, that's what's really cool is, is, you know, seeing the kids' faces and stuff like that. Like, that's cool for me. Yeah, it is. It, that's pretty cool. A lot of people out there, they don't do, they try to do stuff for kids, you know, whether if it's like haunted attractions and stuff now these days. But, you know, there's some people out there, they just kind of got away from, uh, I guess, interacting with the kids and, and whatnot. Uh you know, yeah. and it's pretty cool to see it uh, come back for sure. Uh, oh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, this photo right here now, did you make this or what? Yeah, that is my skull. Uh, White Walker, Game of Thrones. Um, I wanted to do, uh, I immediately when I saw Game of Thrones, I was like, man, these White Walker guys are badass. <laughs> like, so I wanted to do my version of a white walker and i mean this thing took me forever to sculpt you know they got all the lines in their face and everything but i actually the if you look at his armor his chest plate uh i actually made that out of an old couch that i found on the side of the road (laughs) really that's sweet (laughs) yeah the the leather i saw this couch i was driving by and there was just this couch on the side of the road. I guess they were wanting trash people to pick it up. So I just, I got out and I had my knife on me and I cut off a big hunk of leather off the back of this couch. And that's what I made the breastplate and all that out of. And then added some fur and stuff like that. But yeah, his, his armor is somebody somewhere's couch. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty neat. So, hey, yeah. if you know who that couch is, there it is. That's part yeah, of it. Yeah, I put there's your couch i put it to good use uh yeah re re gifted it <laughs> right yeah uh now um i know you make now you make uh mask uh sculpting mask and, and everything else for uh clowns don't you i know that we're looking at a clown photo here but uh oh, other, man, like clowns and clown. oh yeah like internet clowns instagram clowns like yeah, I do a lot of clowns. I mean, clowns just seem to be, you know, really popular. Like everybody just and everybody's afraid of a clown. I mean, it. Mm-hmm. I to me, clowns have always been like funny and you know they remind me of the circus and you know like they'll give you a balloon. Like I, I've never really seen how people are scared of them. Even when it came out, like it's still a clown, you know. But people are like definitely afraid of clowns. Coolrophobia, I believe it's called. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're just, you know, definitely afraid of clowns. So I, I do a lot of clowns, but I like to pride myself at, you know, there's someone can say, okay, well, I want to be such and such the clown. Well, then I always try to come up with something in my brain, you know, like something unique that nobody else has. Like that's what I, that's what I'm kind of known for is, uh, 
you know, just coming up with some crazy off the wall, you know, it's, it's crazy in my head sometimes, but mm -hmm. you know, something, anything, the clown, something, something, the clown. <laughs> I yeah. do a lot of them. Like, oh yeah. So, yeah. So, so how many uh, total have you uh, made? Uh, can you think off top of your head? Oh shit. Like mask in general or just like clown mask? Yeah. Just clown mask, mask in general. Yeah. Or, or uh, just mask in general. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I used to have a total. I think I'm like a little over 3,000 somewhere in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And yeah. you said you've been around for how many years? Uh, about five. About five. Going on six, maybe. Yeah. So, I That's mean, a long may, time. It yeah. Be, it may be more than 3,000. I'm doing like, okay, let's see here. I usually try to ship about eight or 10 a week. So that's 40 a month, you know, for say 500 a year, you know? So yeah, it's pretty close to about three, 4,000 masks. I bet. Right. Um, it's, so, it's been a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. So do you just, uh, sculpt and make masks, uh, or do you, do you have any, uh, part, like any relations to a haunted house, haunted attractions, or do like, has anybody hired you on just to, custom make oh, their yeah. mask or what oh yeah yeah i've done uh i've done a lot of stuff like you know I'm, i started out making like little half masks and then i went to like you know like the twisty mask and then i, I you know like uh mortal Kombat. i started those but then i started where you know i did the half mask and then i started doing like the the full head mask you know so the full pullover mask and my mask just kept getting bigger and bigger but yeah, I mean, I do, I, I, I try to do like whatever people want. I, I like to feel like I can make anything. So I've made little, like the smallest thing I made was uh, this little character for an HBO pilot that they were like pitching to get this show uh, pushed through with the HBO guys. And mm -hmm. so the, the people pitching this, this show wanted a visual to show the board of directors of this HBO or whatever they call. It. And so like I sculpted this little guy from the a character from their movie. So that was the smallest thing I've done. And then I, I the biggest thing I did was uh, if you see 21 Savage, uh, the rapper, like his stage behind him, there's this giant 14 foot tall Jason uh Voorhees you know I did the there's a huge Jason head I did it's got the mask and I mean it was pretty sick man it's 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 on the stage behind 21 Savage so that I've done little bitty things and then huge things but I've done Netflix shows uh independent filmmakers haunted houses I've, I've done several haunted houses where I just go in and you know I'm revamp the crew pretty much like mask everybody up I, the one of the funnest ones i've ever done was uh here in arkansas there's a town called malvern but i did the malvern police department <laughs> haunted oh, wow. house they did like they they do a charity haunted house every year for the kids you know and, the, and so i did like all the cops, I you know, got them all dressed up, makeup, and and masks, and airbrush zombies, and just man, that was really a fun time. Like, just went through and did the whole, the whole crew for this haunted house uh, mm -hmm. at the police department, and it was actually the police department is in an old hospital, like in Malvern. So the basement is where the the officers do they what they call the the low light training. Uh, you know, going room to room with their guns and stuff like that. So anyway, because they were explaining to me what it is, but in the basement where they do this low light training was used to be the morgue of the hospital. So that was really creepy. Like the haunted house was actually in the morgue at this old hospital. So that was a pretty fun, pretty fun haunted house to be a part of, but I've done, I've done yeah. a bunch of them. Yeah, I, I think that would be yeah. actually really creepy to even think about, like knowing that you're going in this haunt and it's you know, like you yeah. say, the, you know, with the morgue affiliated and and everything else. So that's uh, wow, it was. Yeah, that would be yeah, that would be a good venue for a haunt for sure. Oh yeah, and the chief of the the his chief Tabor is his name, the police department. 
he's a huge Halloween fan, man. This guy loves Halloween. So every year, like he goes all out. They do. It's really cool. They do like a, a video for their, for, they have a, a police department page on Facebook. Well, they do this video every year where all the officers dress up and like that, that year, the theme was clowns, you know, of course. So all the, they dressed up like clowns and then it's, you know, they, they do like this whole production. It's really cool. It looks like a real movie and the officers are arresting the clowns or putting them in the jail cells and the clowns are escaping and then killing people and all this. So that was the theme for this haunted house was like, everybody watches this video and it's like these murderous clowns escape the, their jail cells. And then bam, you're walking through this police department with all these murderous clowns after you. It was pretty cool, man. Like Chi Tabor, he like goes all out, dude. He's he's he loves Halloween. He built this like uh, electric chair this guy was sitting in. Like it was awesome. Like he he really loves Halloween, though. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, when you were talking about yeah, that sounds like it. When you were talking about uh the jail cells, uh clowns breaking out and uh you know, the police department it reminded me of the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah, it was like that. And I mean, they're, I don't know who their production team is, but it's like, I mean, they got sound quality, lighting, like they, it's like a short film they put out every year. And uh, everybody's always, you know, looking forward to it. Can't wait to see what the Malvern PD does, you know, for Halloween this year, which this year I haven't seen anything. Last year they didn't do anything because of COVID. But uh, I hadn't really seen anything this year either. But, man, they, they go all out on those videos. I'm telling you, it's crazy. And then you watch that and then go through the haunted house. And it's, you're in the morgue, there's killer clowns after you, and you're at the police department. I mean, it's creepy. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's nothing going to save you, uh, not even the cops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're at the police station, you're in a morgue. I mean, it's like the perfect venue. <laughs> right, yeah. Um. <laughs> Absolutely. So what inspired you to reach out to, I guess, uh, other haunts and, and other people just to help them out? Like, what was the, the main reason uh, that you wanted to, uh, to uh, make these masks? Uh, well, to be honest with you, people just reach out to me. Like, I get messages all the time. And I mean, I get some some stuff like, you know, that I'm like, Oh man, I really want to do that. I want to be a part of that. And then I get a lot of bogus stuff too. So I, I just, I just honestly get people that message me and say, Hey man, can you help me with my haunt? Or can you do this? Can you do that? And if I got time, like every year, you know, during Halloween, I get pulled in like 30 different directions. So, I mean, I try to help everybody as much as I can, you know, cause it's word of mouth, you know, that's my biggest advertisement has always been word of mouth. So I'm like, well, I mean, I'll, I don't mind helping be a part of it. Just put my name out there and I'll, you know, help you any way I can. Mm -hmm. So I, they, people just contact me really. Right. Like, yeah. Well, with COVID last year, uh, how, well, I guess we're still feeling the effects, but really more last year. Uh, my question is, did it affect your business or did you see an increase or, uh, or anything or, or what? Um, honestly, I think it actually helped. <laughs> I mean, because everybody was at home, you know, and they were like playing on the computer more and, and looking at, you know, I mean, so everybody, especially during that whole quarantine thing, you know, like everybody was on the computer a little, a little bit more than I think that they normally were. So I think honestly with me, it actually helped, you know, I was getting a lot of orders and, and so I just, I pretty much say year round now. So, uh, I just take orders, put them down my list and I just, I go down the line and I try to do two or three masks. I don't have employees or anything like that. So I just, I just do them, you know, work on two or three at a time and ship them next day. So that's, that's how my orders go. So I just right. I stay booked year round. Which is good. I mean, which is good. Yeah, I didn't think about the fact that uh, that could help your business in which and I'm glad that it did. I was just when I was thinking about asking yeah. that, I was like, man, I'm, I, I really hope it didn't affect him that much. But yeah, see, there's always good that comes out of bad, right? I mean, I, I, yeah, absolutely. Like, 
I, I was a little worried. I mean, I wasn't going to lie. I was nervous going, you know, thinking, oh, man, COVID. Like, that's just going to sh- shut the, everything down. But, you know, everybody just went into their room and got on the computer and started looking up masks. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it actually kind of – I think it helped, really. You know, if it, right, yeah. It, I didn't notice any difference, like, in, in decline. So, put it that mm-hmm. way, you know. Yeah. Well, that's good. Uh, do you now? You were talking about uh, now. You said that you don't only make masks, but you also. Uh, what else do you make? Oh, just I've done props. You know, like fake guns and swords and and stuff. You know, like uh, I've made big clown hammers. You know, <laughs> they, they. I mean, those big hammers in. I made one that lit up to the sound, you know, and had, it was uh, sound activated, the lights on it and stuff like that, which was really cool. But uh, I do like, you know, just full size props like this for I've done like stuff like that for like collectors. Um, I'll do like, you know, a high end prop or something like that for a really a, a, a collector that's like, man. I, I need this guy right here and I, I can't find him. Like I just did this. Uh, Pennywise, I don't know, I think I may have sent you that photo uh, of my new Pennywise, but that was for a collector that was like, man, all the Pennywise masks I found, it's just him with his two teeth. He's just smiling a little bit, you know, and he was like, I want the one that got the, where he starts, you know, all the teeth start coming out of his mouth, you know, and mm-hmm. he said, yeah. I, I want that one, you know, I want that one. So I sculpted that one for him, you know, for, I do stuff for a lot of stuff for collectors like that, like, Man, I really want this, but I can't find it anywhere. Kind of stuff, you know. So yeah. I, I try to just, you know, do what people want me to do that they can't find, you know. So right. I, I don't know. I can't think of anything offhand so far that I haven't been able to build. Like, you know, that I could think that I was like, well, someone wanted me to do that and I couldn't do it. Like, I mean, right now I think I'm working on this dead mouse helmet. Uh. That's probably one of the closest to I've ever pulling my hair out <laughs> on any kind yeah. of project. This is, I don't know if you know Dead Mouse the DJ, and it's like big old clown ears. And, mm-hmm. uh, this thing is nuts, man. It's, it's I've been working on it for quite a while, but yeah. Uh, James like, Russell is. Go, go ahead, man. I'm sorry. Oh, nothing. I was just saying. I just I'll do whatever people want me to do. Like if, you know, pretty much. I try to yeah, get well, creative. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we again, we appreciate your work and everything else. Uh, James Russell's in the house from the Haunted Honeymooners. So how's it going, James? I uh, appreciate James? you uh, joining in. And uh, we got Wes, which is, uh, that's his name under YouTube. But that's actually James, our co-host. He couldn't be here tonight. But uh, he also said, oh, what's okay. up, Ryan and Tony? So uh, up, thank you for up? chiming in as well. We're yeah, here. so we've, we're, pick, we're picking up slack for you. <laughs> yeah um but yeah man uh so yeah um how can people uh you know if they want to reach out to you you were talking about how you know people they actually just really contact you how do they uh if they want to how do they contact you and, and everything else to uh you know maybe contact you to, to scope a mask for them um i've got several different places like i do I've got Etsy. Uh, I've got an Etsy store, uh, which I think it's just Tony Buck Effects Studios on Etsy, or it may just be Tony Buck Effects. I can't remember. Uh, but then, like Facebook, I've got my Tony Buck Effects Studios page on Facebook. Uh, Instagram, uh, that one is like Tony Buck eleven eighty one or something like that. Uh, so I've got a bunch of social media mainly facebook and etsy i would say are my two main i i've got a guy right now working on a website uh but he hasn't quite finished it yet so i'm I'm hoping to have a website soon to like like a conversation you know where I get all the messages in one spot and, and like that because I, I get a ton of messages with all these different social media platforms. Man, Facebook, I'd have yeah. to say, is my main places where people can order stuff. You know, like my it. Right. 
So my well, if you want me to uh, if you send it to me, scroll. if you send it to me, uh, I'll put yeah. it in the description and stuff for the people to uh, contact you and, and whatnot. If you know you're willing, and I'm sure you are, but uh, yeah, you know, oh, yeah. and, and and whatever, absolutely. So uh, we'll definitely do that for those who's listening and everything else. Right. Cool. Yeah. Uh, when I get off here, I'll, I'll send you the link to my Etsy store. So I put the little description in there and, and tell everybody about the mask and stuff like Because right now I've got uh, – I'm around a 16-week turnaround of orders too, just so people know. Because like, like I said, it's just me. So I try to get to them uh, as quick as I can. I just go down the line. Like I said, about two or three a day. By the time I – you know, if, say if you order today and I put it on the list – well, then it's about 16 weeks before I get down to that name on the order. So, uh, I, you know, I've been running about 16 weeks. You know, I had a little little hiccup there for a little while. I was a couple weeks behind. I got a apocalyptic snowstorm here in Arkansas. First time ever, like, since I was oh, born. Wow. Uh, man, we got, like, usually if it flurries here in Arkansas, like, people just lose their mind. Can't drive. They shut schools down like in flurries. Mm-hmm. But this year, I mean, this year we got, I think it was at my, I got like close to 20 inches of snow. So, I mean, it was, it was a lot of snow and then we lost power for almost two weeks. So, I mean, yeah, I couldn't well, do nothing. I couldn't work. I couldn't do nothing. No power. You know? Yeah. Well, see, I, we're down in Alabama and it was like two days ago in the 40s and everybody was freaking out, putting their jackets on and and yeah. running to the store and probably going to get bread. I don't I don't know what they're doing down here. But, yeah, I could imagine, you know, the uh, the panic and everything else because people down here in Alabama, they are crazy. Yeah. Oh, man. I remember being in school and we're like the weatherman says there's a chance of snow today. And then we'd be looking out the window. <gasps> there's a flurry. We got to go home. We got to go. We got to go. Home. <laughs> you know, like, like that's how yeah. it is now at work. People are at work. Like oh, I gotta go home. There's a flurry. We gotta go. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, actual snow. Uh, yeah, the, this whole town shut down. So it was it was crazy, man. I was I wasn't gonna lie. I was a little nervous. I mean, I I thought we was about to uh, be living off the land for a little while. Yeah, you know, a little house yeah, on the like- prairie. <laughs> we get a dusting, <laughs> and the entire shelves at the grocery store is completely you know wiped out oh it, yeah it's crazy it's yeah crazy. yeah we had a couple of them last year you know uh dustings and and whatnot but uh yeah we, we haven't battled any winter wintery weather just yet down here in alabama so hopefully fingers right. crossed that uh right now we're just yeah. in the 40s and 50s at night oh yeah see we're still in the 70s here so i think tonight it's supposed to get down in the 40s so everybody will probably freak out yeah, but shoot, you know, it gets down to sixty something. I'm like, it's cold after it's been ninety eight all day. You know, right? Yeah, so absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah, Tony. So we appreciate you uh, coming on. Is there anything else you want to add in um, or or say? I mean, we'd be more than happy to hear it and uh, and whatnot. Yeah. Um, no, I just, I mean, I, you know, I just appreciate everybody, you know, liking my mask. Like I said, I. I never knew in a million years uh, that people would really, you know, appreciate something I made, you know, with my own two hands and like, especially like people that are buying it, paying for it, you know, like that just Mm -hmm. blows my mind. So I I appreciate everybody that, you know, that likes my work and, and, and buy stuff from me and stuff like that. Like I, I appreciate everybody. So, you know, like you said, I'll, I'll send you a link to my Etsy store and, Keep on rocking and rolling, man. That's what I'm gonna keep doing. So right, yeah. Appreciate and, you guys. Oh yeah, no problem. And uh, again, we're gonna put his uh, link and however to contact him in the description. So please be on the lookout for that. Uh, and uh, yes, Tony, we appreciate you coming on and uh, taking time out of your busy schedule. Sure, man. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, all right. Thank you. Uh, have a good one. All right, you too, man. All right, that's Tony Buck, uh, the one and only Tony Buck from FX Studios. Uh, appreciate his work, man. Such a great guy. And uh, nothing but mad respect for him and everything else. Appreciate you guys commenting. Uh, James, the other James from Haunted Honeymooners. And um, 
and anybody who comments, you know, whether if it's live or recorded, we appreciate everything. And yes, again, spe- we really do appreciate Tony Buck for uh, joining the show. Uh, such a great guy out of Arkansas. So please hit him up. All the stuff will be in the description. Until next time, y'all keep it creepy and happy holidays.